calling all units. We need backup right now. We currently have a pig on the loose. Anyone who brings the pig to me in one piece will get a prize. Let's go chase after it, boys. Sounds like easy money, baby. Let's go get this reward, guys. Now, we need to go hunt this pig down. Let's keep hitting it, hitting it, and hitting it, and... It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. All there is to say, I am very, very confused as what's going on at the moment. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Candycraft. I hope you enjoyed that brief little intro at the start. Um, pretty much, guys, as you see, we have got some weird shit going on. So, we have got a Sioux, Sioux Guard egg. Now, I, I have no idea what this is, but it, it spawns these little, these little demon things. Like... I'm not too sure of what they're meant to be, but they look like dwarfs. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit confused. They, they're like little minions. That's, that's what they look like. And over here, we've got a gingerbread Sigurd guard. I definitely, I'm saying this wrong, aren't I? Sue guard. Sue guard egg, right. But look, look at this, Don. Like, look, look, how, look how large they are. They are huge. Now, Guys, as you see, this is a mod review. So I'm going to be telling you what I think about this mod. Uh, I've, I've explored it a little bit and, you know, I've, I've done some digging. So as you see here, this is like the new blocks that are within Candycraft. Uh, it's, it's actually a very good mod. I'm quite impressed with it. Uh, as you see, we've got loads of different items. Like we can have a lollipop, for example. Like, you know, <laughs> just, I, I, I don't even know what this is here for. I'm guessing it's just like an aesthetic, like... It's not even. It must just be like food or something. Like, because I've been creative, I haven't been able to like venture out with like all of the survival stuff as such. But th there's a lot to do within within this uh, mod pack, really. The Jelly King Egg. Let's have a look at what this is. I think this is one of the bosses, actually. Oh my god. Um, excuse me. Like, bruh, what what's going on? What what is this? <laughs> what? Okay, I I've geared up. Look, I I've got my Pez armor, which is apparently the best gear in this. It's like the equivalent. To oh my god, we're in, a we're in a boss fight. Okay, here we go. Here, here we go. All right, let's let's see what this Jelly King gives us. Go on. Look, listen, listen to those clicks, lads. You you're not gonna see anything like it. We're too good. We are literally the mod pack connoisseurs, you know? Like, we are not going to be defeated by a Jelly King boss, all right? I'm just saying. It's not happening. We're, we're, we're getting there, I think. <laughs> Slowly, but surely. We're almost there. We are almost there. Uh, we, we got this creeper as well. Actually, I probably should just explode him. But yeah, look. This is, this is turned from a mod review into a bit of a boss fight, but I, I guess I can fly, so it does make everything a lot easier. I'm just interested to see what this thing actually drops. Oh, it's getting smaller. It's getting... Oh, oh it's minute. It is very, very small now. And it is dead. What do we get for that? Oh, uh, we got a jelly boss key. Now, I'm not really sure what that is for, but I assume within the world, there'll be something where I can open up like open up like a key i will try and find out what that's for but guys this mod pack is actually really really good like i'm not gonna lie i've had a lot of fun playing with this like look there's it's a lot of marshmallow shit stuff like i could literally look so i've got a marshmallow door here but everything's just pink and it looks really really nice like aesthetically like we're, we're gonna put a chest down as well you see like everything is just like a, a sort of shade of pink and you know, I'm here for it. A trampo jelly. Right, let's, let's have a look at these blocks. So we got trampo jelly. We got a blue jelly. So let's have a quick gander. See what see what see what they're saying. So can we can we jump on these? Okay, we can. I thought I'd, oh we can. Oh, we definitely can. Okay. Yo, wait, how high does this go? <gasps> Bruh. What? Oh, <gasps> the red one launches you. Oh my god, life complete. There we go, we're sorted. I'll, I'll see I'll see you in the next one, guys. <laughs> I'm joking. Right, so 
Yeah, this, this jelly mod pack is a bit sick. I'm over going to lie. It's not even a jelly mod pack. I don't even know. I've lost my trail of thought. That is insane. So we've now got a sugar factory. Now, from what I can see, this this is like, so you put an item of sugar in here and it will come out to some sort of dust that will benefit you in some way. So, for example, we're going to use... Uh, should, we, should we just use... I want to see if it works for this. I'm, I'm still learning as well, guys. So... You know, I don't. I'm not doing a mod review, but you know, okay. So it's doing something. So we know that th that this is right to some degree. So let's let's have a quick look. Let's see what this gives us. It, it's giving us sugar. So we we, we got sugar. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't. I don't know why. I have to craft sugar, but you know what? I guess in, in real life Minecraft, it is a bit harder because obviously you need sugarcane and stuff, and sugarcane is quite hard to come by, but yeah, there's quite a lot to it. Oh, there's a shield as well. I, I'm assuming this is a shield. I, wait, why, why Why is there a shield when I'm on 1.7.10? For anyone who didn't know, I've just said it, there is now, th th this is a 1.7.10 mod pack, so you know, if you, if you ever want to play this, then be sure to use that. I want to have a look at the Jelly Queen. I know it's a boss as well. Oh, okay, this isn't as big. Oh, it, it's still it's still big though. It's it's still a it's still a big one. Right, let's uh, let's see what she's saying. Um, okay, we're, we're she's getting low. She is getting low. We're almost there. Can I get some crits? Crit her out. There we go. And bish bosh, bing. And what do we get for that? So we've got a jelly emblem, which reduces fall damage by 30%, which is really good. And a, a record for the jukebox. Things you love to see. And, and I guess here, if it's a jukebox. So, as you see, guys, the, the mobs within this game as well. So we've got a pig here. And as you see, it's, it's in like a candy stripe system. So everything is pinkly coordinated. And so this pig resembles candy, right? And this dog here resembles chocolate sit down there you go oh wait he's not gonna sit you could not sit down in 1.7.10 i thought he could all right i i guess not the, the dog does what he, what he wants i guess um so we got a candy cane so that was the pig that we showed so we do have a cookie creeper which i'm very interested to see what it does oh my gosh i, I don't want it to explode in here okay we'll, we'll take our cookies and run Hold on, I'm going to do a quick test with the cookie creeper. I want to see what it does if it explodes. Oh, wait, I need a uh, flint and steel real quick. Let's get that flint and steel. Let's see the damage it produces, right? Boom. Light them up. Okay, so it's the exact same as a normal creeper. That's what we established. I wasn't sure because everything seems very amped up with this because obviously this, this whole trampoline thing with the jelly is just awesome. Like that. So you go to that one. So you have to start off with the green. And then you go over to the blue. Oh wait, no. Do you have to just keep jumping on the green for a little bit? So the green keeps bouncing you up and down. And then you move over to the red. Okay, so the red one sends you even higher into oblivion. And yeah, I, I'm not even sure what the blue one does. I'm assuming the blue one. like I, I'm guessing it goes like green, green, blue, red. In terms of how high you can jump. So... Yeah, that is very, very cool. So we got a jaw breaker light. So let's have a let's have a look what this does. So uh do, do I have to put a redstone on it? Okay, everyone. Uh, I do apologize. For some reason the recording did just randomly cut out. But as you can see, uh, I was in the process of fighting this Pez Jelly Sentry. So I am gonna be fighting this. And pretty much, guys, I have sort of figured out within within the time that it's been since I did the last bit until I realized I wasn't recording what the tier system is. So with this gear here, so you see the armor. So we've got licorice, you have honeycomb and Pez. Now I have established that Pez comes from the Pez Jelly King. or not, It's not a king, but it's the Pez Jelly. So it's like the strongest gear within this. So you'll see here, we've got a lemon, a lemon jelly, I think they're called. Yeah, so we've got a lemon jelly, and obviously this is small. You then got a mint jelly, which is just fast as hell and it's hard to hit. And then you have the Pez jelly, which is the mammoth 
So that is where the whole tiering system comes. Now, I, I'm still not too sure why there is, you know, a hun... What was it? It's honeycomb and licorice. But, you know, I'm sure the more you explore this pack, you'll sort of start to understand everything that's going on. Uh, we've got a licorice wheel here. I'm, I'm, I'm very curious to see if this does anything. Oh, what? Oh, so is that water? Wait, if I go in that... Okay, this looks just... This, this is water. So... But it looks of things, the grenadine, gre 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 grenadine. What the hell is that? Whip. I have no idea. If I'm, I'm assuming this is an American plugin. So if anyone in America knows what this is, or UK, it may be UK. Uh, t let me let me know what that is. Okay, so we got the caramel bucket, which has given me a jump boost of two. So, you know, I'll be able to hop into the the dog kennels with my crown. Um, for anyone who didn't know, you, you can get crowns in this as well. So for being the, the Jelly King, you can get a crown. I can't remember if I did it in the recording. If I did, I'll probably edit it out. But anyway, guys, I think that is going to do it for today. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed my first mod review. If you have, please remember to hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. And just to let you all know, I am going to be giving ratings out of 10 for all of the mods that I'm going to be reviewing. So this mod specifically, there's not really much integrated into it like there's not another version of minecraft within a mod however it does have a very nice touch to it and considering it's a candy mod i am quite impressed with it now one thing i would say which it is lacking is it lacks the the whole world being integrated within it like i when i first logged on i was hoping it'd be a candy world however i've had to go out my way to like build it with the blocks they've given me but, you know, I am quite impressed with how this mod pack looks. I think there is some other stuff that they could incorporate into it. But, you know, I am on quite a quite an old version, I think, of this. So, you know, there is definitely room for improvement. And I hope they do, do improve it in the future. And, you know, I will review it in the future. And I'll see whether they have made those improvements. So, out of 10, I'm going to give this... Yes, guys. I'm going to give this a 6 out of 10 for the first one. Now, I, I'm not going to just give out racing for free. If I think it's not a very good mod, I'm going to say. But this has got a very good topic. It's got a good concept. But there are just things missing. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this mod review. If you have, please remember to hit that like button and subscribe for you. I will leave a link to the mod pack in the description down below. So, you guys can go check out for yourselves. It's a 1.7.10 mod. And it's called Candy Craft. So, thank you for watching. This is your boy Scrub Plays. And I'll see you in the next video on my channel. In a bit, guys.